with, I think, the majority of every celebrity or client that I have, the more significant their personality, the more insecure that they are. And they are genius at masking the, the facade of their image. But what they see on stage in the mirror is not necessarily what I see or we see. So it's really about giving them ease uh, when we first meet and start collaborating, get their confidence, let them know that, that, that I will protect them uh, and their personality and their image. And then it really is starting to build and find what gives them confidence. You know, it, there's, I work with such amazing people from like a Beyonce to whoever. And as talented as they are, as um, seasoned as they are being on stage, they have insecurities. They have panic attacks right before that moment hits. And even though what I do seems very superficial, you know, the frosting on the cake, it is the facade. It is their protection, their coding. And it's, it's something that, um, it's why I do what I do. The superficiality is fun, but it is, it is giving, finding, finding what makes somebody secure, what makes them feel comfortable with themselves. And there's a power in that. And once you make that connection with somebody, you bond it, you have a bond. And, and that, that's sort of what really kind of energizes me. Well, I, you know, I'm really, um, I'm a very sensitive person. I've always been. And I, I, can, I, can, I can feel when somebody is whatever, when they're uneasy, when they're sad, when they're happy, when they're, and, and I, I know I'm a pleaser. And, um, and, I, and I, you know, I love animals, <laughs> you know, and that, that, is my, that is my balance. And there's, there's, a, there's such a, um, a very, primary bond when you when you do that and I, and I think it brings humanity down to that level I think life is can be that simple it is it is going back to basics blocking out all the noise you know focusing on who you're with and 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 I think once you can tap into that in yourself blocking out the noise and focus there's a calm an inner peace that happens I think also I've been doing this for so long that at the beginning, you know, I, I was a different person, even didn't realize it then. I was, um, I, was, I, was, I was more eager to please, which clouded my willingness to observe and listen. And I really, uh, the, more, the more I worked with individuals, but the more I worked with bigger celebrities who had the clutter and the people around them and being pulled in every direction, I had a limited time to zoom in, focus on them and pull it out. And so it forced me to clean up my techniques to be able to do that with people because I needed to get something in order for myself to be creative, operate and work. And I, and I knew I had a limited time with them. So I really had to focus and learn how to, how to find that nugget that I could pull out. <laughs>